So this is birch polypore. It's a shelf fungi. I'm a fungi, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I like pointing that out, but okay. Even when we as people go inside because it's cold, there are animals all around us that are still out there. And even during like the dead of winter when it starts to get really cold, those animals are there. That type of nature keeps me going. My name is Mark Roos. I am a environmental and outdoor education major. It's my senior year. Today we're gonna to be looking at uh, tracks that animals make and we're gonna identify what type of animal makes that track and in what direction they're going to. It's, it's, it's coming, doop, doop, it's galloping. You know, I'm a gray squirrel. Oh, I climb trees. Oh, I don't eat anything. Back down, back over there. As humans, how are we able to think about behavior? You know, how are we able to understand, did it climb up this tree? What was it going up for? Our SOP outdoor program allows students and community members to just go outside and learn about the outdoors in all different realms. My role is that I am an outdoor program staff member. Jumped here. My whole four years of school has just been a lot of outdoor-based learning. And what the outdoor program does, for me at least, and maybe for other people in my major who are involved, it allows us to just put those skills to use. I'm actually like freaking out a little bit. Look at this. Everyone take a look at this. What, what, what does that look like? Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. It's a bird. I love building excitement. No, um, and so I don't so like to teach something without feeling like, you know, not excited about it. That's why like I will teach something that I'm passionate about. If it's birds, I can I can talk about birds all day. Trees the same way. Uh, animal tracking the same way. So this right here is a mouse. Deet, deet, deet. Moving its way because it either smells something or it's looking for something. I love watching people get excited. I love uh, when people get something right, because that makes me excited because I feel like I was able to deliver it in a way where they're able to understand. It's an it's a amazing feeling. This is the Duluth Traverse. I grew up in a very urban area, so that transition was interesting to see. And it was definitely eye-opening for me because, you know, I, I never knew that I was going to kind of go down this road. But once I started figuring out, like, you know, following my passion, it was the outdoors. Hello. Yeah, Bagley has a lot of different types of users and uh, <laughs> a lot of different activities. And so on a, on a weekend like this, on a beautiful day, this is definitely what we'll, we'll see. There's a lot of people here and a lot of people doing stuff, you know? It's the awesome part about Bagley. And you see a pa like a, One uh, thing I think like I live by now is like just letting your like passion um, take you where it goes, you know? And just um, having there. faith in that passion. Uh, right. Sometimes it's hard to have faith Maybe. in stuff though. Senior year, you know, I'm, I'm stressed out about what I'm gonna do and if what job's gonna take me. And um, I've just been thinking about more about having just faith in the passion, believing in it. That's really the thing. Hmm, maybe it could be a tiny human, but <laughs> it doesn't. Of a baby, like yeah, a but then would the baby climb this tree and then go back down there? I mean, that, that baby must be parkour champion, it's but far it's a far stretch. But that's the thing with interpretation, animal tracks, you kind of have to like take in all options. Like, okay, like could be though. In my future, I do want to become a naturalist and I'm hoping to open my own program actually. I've done a lot of practicing, a lot of studying and creating. I feel pretty prepared with everything I've learned in school, you know, to take the next step into like a full-time job. You hear that? 